Hi, in this video I will explain you everything about the pitcher of a uh, nippon test, so a tropical pitcher plant. Uh, we'll talk about the lid, we'll talk about the liquid inside, because I had a lot of questions, what happened when you put your finger inside this liquid, why the lid is not closing, etc. So uh, let's have a deeper look so uh, everybody knows more. Hi, my name is Remy and I love nippon test. I want to thank Florin, or Florin uh, for the super thanks, that's helping a lot, so thank you very much. So, uh, let's pick a picture to sacrifice, this one for example. Uh, that's uh, Emae, uh, I have that, that's the biggest picture, the lastest, I have one before. So, the, this one is an old one, uh, it's less shiny on the peristome, uh, what else? You can tell on the side it's starting to have a little problem. It's rotting or dying. So uh, that would be okay to sacrifice this one. So that's the, the picture I just cut. Uh, there is two parts inside the picture. There is the digestive one under this line and the slippery one. Uh, usually that's where it will start to die, especially when there is food in it. So let's uh, get rid of the liquid. Still transparent, uh, not uh, uh, really dark. Uh, what else can I tell you? On this species, uh, it won't uh, be uh, really thick. It's really like water. Inside, when you open it, you see the dark part, that's where there is the digestive uh, gland, I guess. So that's where everything will be assimilated by the plants. Everything that drowned inside will be assimilated by that uh, part. So bottom, where uh, insects are digested. Then when you go up, that's the limit between the digestive part and the slippery part. And the digestive glands are smaller, so I don't know why, but... Above, that will be the slippery one. Uh, no digestive gland, it's really only here to prevent the insects to crawl up and escape. And even under the peristome, it's also uh, really slippery. One thing to note is uh, usually you have one third to two third of liquid in the pitcher. Uh, nothing uh, on the slippery part. Speaking of which, uh, I have been asked uh, what happens if you touch, you put your uh, finger inside the liquid. So here it is, nothing. It will be wet uh, and smell uh, not great, so, so wash your hands, uh, nothing. It really, it would probably do something if the finger was staying inside for days, uh, but uh, Oh, yeah, let's talk about the lid now. The lid uh, is really like a uh, bouncing back, like an elastic. The lid uh, is only uh, here to prevent things to fall inside. So uh, really, that's the only purpose. And yes, there is some nectar gland on the top of the lid to attract the insect. And then, because it's angled like that in nature, they will fall inside the pitcher. So now you know how is made a pitcher. Okay, so there is uh, some question here. Um, okay, uh, it's because it doesn't need to close. It's not closing because it's not a closing part of the plant. Okay, let me go back. Okay. Um, so uh, the lid don't close because it don't have to. Its purpose, as I said, is only to prevent falling things, including water or leaves, to fall into the pitcher. And I will show you a few lid. So Vichii, again, really bouncing back. I have uh, this one also, same, that's really elastic. And even this one, the truncata. And when you look at the top, from the top, nothing can fall inside. It's protected. Same for this one. This one, if I look from the top, nothing would enter. On the upper of uh, minima, Nepotes minima, they look quite open. But if we look from the top, again, protected. 
So uh, that's really something. Usually the lid uh, will protect and that's why it's not closing. Some plants uh, like uh, Ampularia, Nepotes Ampularia, Nepotes Jamban, uh, the Iniamis maybe, uh, some other like the uppers of, um, um, ah, what's his name again? Uh, Emai, Nepotes Emai. Their lid is fully open and clearly don't uh, protect from anything. So it becomes the opposite. They try to catch anything that could fall. After a rain, some insects or piece of plants will fall into the pitcher and they will be digested. Uh, but for most of the, the plants, the uppers have the lid. They don't want uh, any water to go inside for a logic reason. If the pitcher was really uh, loaded with water and it's on a, a vine, the chance of breaking the vine is uh, important. Uh, breaking the branch on, wh on where the, the vine is uh, around, like uh, if the branch break, the vine will fall too. So they try to uh, avoid being uh, too water loaded on the uppers. Uh, but uh, beside that, uh, even them, they, they do not close or it's not like the insect will be able to escape. It's impossible. Once it falls, it's drowning uh, and uh, all the, the surface of the, the walls, if I may, uh, are really slippery and uh, it's and waxy, so there is no way they can really uh, grab anything to go up. So literally, they will uh, drown. They will uh, swim until they die. Uh, that's it. That's nature. Uh, it's not always uh, fun. So that's why I sometimes I don't understand why I have comments like, oh, you kill the poor hands, oh, rip hands, like, ugh. Come on, in nature, do you really think uh, a mouse uh, will complain about uh, how violent is the cat that will eat it alive? There is a hunter, there is a prey, that's it. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, anyway. So now let's see how they evolve uh, once they, they fall into the picture. Last summer, I put some Nepontes outside and they were attracting a lot of insects, mostly ants, but uh, look how the ants looks like when they fall inside the pitcher. And a few days uh, later, this is what they look like. They are transparent, it's like they are empty. That's exactly what is happening. And the biggest, the the prey is, the insect is, and the longer it will take to be digested. For example, in here we have a wasp. It will take way longer than a hand, obviously. The plant will digest most of the, <clears throat> the soft part. Soft parts uh, will be digested, a little bit of the medium, but the hard shells uh, like uh, the chitin of the uh, scarab, etc. It won't really be digested. It will stay land on the floor. Everything inside will probably disappear, but uh, the exoskeleton will stay. Uh, it's the same for a uh, dance part. For example, uh, we all saw uh, some um, mouse that fall into, uh, I think it was uh, Truncata and uh, Vichyai. No, uh, Loiai by Truncata. Uh, often mice uh, on uh, greenhouses will fall into it. They come and to, they try to eat uh, sugary uh, parts and then they fall in the pitcher and because Loei and Tuagara, uh, they have like a really uh, tough body, it will be able to digest this mouse. But then uh, once you uh, empty the pitcher, uh, once the pitcher is dead, uh, nothing is left. A little bit of uh, skin, some hairs and uh, most of the bones. The, not the thunder one, but the thicker one. But uh, most of it is digested, assimilated by the plants, so the plant can grow better. If you want to know if you need to put some water inside your pitcher, here's a video for you. If you have any comments, please shoot any comments. Uh, like and subscribe, it's always helping. And until next time, happy growing.